on, good boy. Come on, good boy. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel. It's Monday morning. We've got a lot to do today. So I'm vlogging. Say good morning, Rocco. I do pretty much the same things on Monday mornings. I have one class. I have some homework, some grocery shopping, going on walks with Rocco to do. So we're going to do that. But first, I really need to pee. So I'm going to go pee. Okay, this is the point in the morning that I look forward to the most. So I brush my teeth, wash my face, and basically just freshen up for the day. I also brush my eyelashes like 5,000 times, but here I am doing my skincare now. I'm um, using Curology Moisturizer and then the Supergoop Matte Screen because it's important to put some sunscreen on your face, guys, before you do anything for the rest of your day. And that's all I do. <laughs> and this is Rocco sleeping next to me. So cute. Oh my gosh. So now it's time to feed him. He literally gets so excited for this time of his morning. He just waits there and tries to jump on the table and eat it, but he's like super crazy because he knows what's about to happen. <laughs> So here I am just splitting his foods. I'm still transitioning him to a new one, so that's what's going on. And by this time, he knows to go in his crate, so he's already waiting in there. So cute. I love him so much. So he just feeds in there with his little slow feeder bowl, and yeah. Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I already kind of said that, but now that I'm ready and kind of more awake, it means a little bit more. <laughs> It's 7.44 right now. Uh, I have class today at 25. So until then, I'm just going to prepare for the day and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make a just really quick to-do list right here. I know the dates on top are wrong. They're from like two weeks ago. Let's forget about that. And just write everything down that I need to do today because I feel like I have kind of a lot. And obviously the first thing I love doing in the morning is just clearing my brain of all the stress by writing everything down. And if you can hear Rocco eating, sorry. It just helps a lot to like not be as stressed is to have everything written down that you have to do so that it's not all like jumbled in your brain, you know? So we're gonna write everything down right now. And yeah. Writing down to-do lists are my number one productivity tip. I swear by it and it's changed so many of you guys' lives too. All right, that's the plan for today. Pretty much what I already said, but now that it's written down, I feel a little bit better because I'm able to like visually see it and plan out my day. So that's the plan. Also something that helps me be productive in the morning that I have started doing recently for probably like a week now and I highly recommend locking your apps as you can see. All of my apps have timers on them. And that's because I set like downtime for my phone. So the apps don't unlock until 8 a.m. And they lock at 10 p.m. the night before. It really, really helps me not go on my phone. Because I literally can't because the apps are locked. So like social media apps especially. But yeah, this has been helping so much. Because I don't like sit down on my phone. Scrolling on Instagram in the morning and wasting time like I usually do. Or laying in bed right when I wake up and scrolling on Instagram. I used to do that literally every single day. And... And it's just not good for me like it was doing no good and only harm for my day so this has definitely helped um, now like I'm able to just get up right away not have to sit and stall in bed so yeah that's something that I definitely recommend doing if you want to do it let me just show you how I did it really quick so if you go into settings and then you go into screen time and then you go into downtime you can turn downtime on and then customize your days and then you put the time limit and then you go in here and this will tell you all the apps that are locked so um i thought i locked your crate how did you get out sorry what <laughs> hi but what how did you get out of your crate don't really know what i want to make for breakfast today because i don't have that much stuff <laughs> because um i really need to go grocery shopping today and that's on my list probably gonna make a couple of these frozen hash browns anyone else have breast milk in their fridge i mean freezer or just me and then i also have these blueberry waffles that i kind of forgot about so hopefully they're still good yeah there's two of these left i think i'm just gonna pop them both in my air fryer breakfast and coffee time here i am using my espresso machine i love this thing so much i just use the starbucks um nespresso pods put some soy milk in there some caramel syrup and it is the best thing ever so grabbing a reusable straw of course mixing it mixing and mixing it and this is where the aesthetic coffee shots come in 
the best part of my day. Okay, my um, hash browns and waffles are in the air fryer right now. I am going to make a little grocery list so that I know what I need to get later because I do have a lot of things that I need restocks on. So we're going to do that. I like to just do it on my notes app because I can make a little checklist and then easily check them off when I'm there. Now I need to think about what I need. So I know I need eggs for sure. Lunch meat, lettuce, veggies. I need a lot of stuff. Frozen meals, bananas, lemons. And now I'm blanking. I wanna see if they have caramel sauce so I can put it in my coffees. <laughs> that goes crazy. You wanna play, huh? I know, I'm gonna have to go to class and then I'm not gonna be able to play with you. And you're gonna be mad at me. Luckily I only have one class today, so it's better than three classes on Wednesdays. What else do I need? Um, bagel. I'll add to it as I go on, but that's what I like to do so that I don't forget anything. Oh, I want to get flowers too for my base. The waffles take not as long to cook as the um, hash browns, so I think I'm going to take the waffles out now. The air fryer makes perfectly crispy hash browns, in case you don't know. I just get the ones from Trader Joe's, and I air fry them for 14 minutes at 400, and they're so good, you guys. <laughs> you good boy. Okay, I have about 10 minutes now until class, so I'm going to just go over there in my room, in my little office, and get situated. First, I'm um, getting all my school stuff situated, and then obviously making my bed. Making your bed is the best thing ever to accomplish first thing in the morning, so you should do it. All right, I just made my bed and lit a candle. This is a mahogany teakwood one. I have barely any left, so I'm just trying to finish it before I start any other candles. Um, this one smells so good, you guys. And also, that blanket's on the floor because Rocco peed on my bed the other day, so I still need to wash it. It's 8.18 now. I have about five-ish minutes until I have class. This is my child and adolescent nutrition class. So we learn all about infants right now and then like children, toddlers, and then adolescents and stuff. So it's pretty interesting, but I am remote for this class even though people are in person. So it's a very different like feel when there's people in person but you're online. I don't know, it's just kind of weird. I have that going on, so I'm gonna get all ready for that. I'm just going to pull up the lecture notes on my iPad, copy them, into Notability, which is the note-taking app I use. I got so many requests, you guys, to do a how I take notes on my iPad video. So I think I might do it because I literally got so many questions. <laughs> so since so many people want to know, I probably will film that video. Yeah, so I'll go into my class. I'll go into modules and then go into this week. Go to the lecture notes. I think we're taking notes on infant daycare. So I'm going to copy that PowerPoint, import it into Notability. Yeah. That's the plan. Okay, you guys, I just finished up with class. Finally, Rocco's getting crazy right now, so it's good that he waited a little bit. Um, I also like did some really, really, really quick makeup. I think I'm gonna go get ready and just change and then take him on a walk because he needs some physical activity. <laughs> and it's 9.36 right now, so we're gonna go on a little walk and then I'm probably gonna give him a bath because he went swimming yesterday in my dad's pool and I never gave him a bath and I know that's not good. But it was so late yesterday and it was too cold and I was like, he's not gonna dry off, so. I'm just gonna wait, so yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm getting ready to go now. I have to put on my shoes, put on Rocco's harness, and all that. I think he knows. He's so excited. No. Here's my outfit. I honestly. <laughs> Rocco. I don't know where this jacket's from. I kind of forgot. It's very, very, very old. These leggings are Gymshark by Whitney Simmons leggings, and then I'm wearing my Adidas. Come on, good boy, sit. Good boy, good boy. Nobody. Also, I'm gonna grab my AirPods, play some music, and I'll catch you guys when we get back. I decided to just listen to a podcast instead, so this is the Unsocial Butterfly Podcast. It's one of my favorites. Here we are on our walks. Rocco has been loving walks ever since he's been getting his shots and is able to finally go out. 
it's good to get some sunshine and i swear we literally get stopped by like 75 people each time we go on a walk no matter how long it is everyone loves rocco and i don't blame them okay we just got back from our little walk and i'm about to give him a bath because he literally is so muddy he was rolling in the mud because people were coming over and like petting him which is fine but they were getting him so excited and he was literally rolling around and he's like crusty and muddy now so i'm gonna give him like a really quick bath before i go to the store yeah let's do this really fast He's all clean. Okay, I want to take a quick second to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Orate. Seriously, a dream of mine to work with such an amazing brand like this one. If you're wondering where all of my beautiful rings are from, they're from Orate. There's your answer. So Orate sells directly to you without the middleman markup, so they can offer the same exact quality as traditional, like very high-end jewelry brands for a more affordable price. It is all real gold, so you never have to take it off. I personally wear mine in the shower, in the pool, at the beach. I sleep in it. I never have to take my Orate pieces off because I know that they are good quality and that they're not going to tarnish or leave my skin green or any of that. And this part gets me. For every jewelry piece that Orate sells, a child in need gets a book to further their education, which is amazing. And Orate's pieces are ethically sourced and sustainably made. Their gold is never mined. And their gemstones and diamonds are also certified conflict-free, so everyone can shop with a sparkling conscience. So I bought my first or eight piece which is right here about a year ago and ever since i have not shopped anywhere else for gold rings they have the best and cutest gold rings and also other jewelry pieces as well but i personally love their rings and i really can't post an instagram story of my hands or any piece of jewelry without getting 50 plus dms of people asking where my gold rings are from so there's your answer Orate. For 15% off your first Orate purchase, you can go to oratenewyork.com slash Lauren and use promo code Lauren. That's A-U-R-A-T-E New York dot com slash Lauren L-A-U-R-Y-N. All right, I am going to Trader Joe's now. I just stuck Rocco in his crate. He should be fine since we went on a long walk, so he should be tired, but I have my bags and I'm gonna leave my camera here, but if I vlog, it'll be on my phone, so. Okay, I kind of... Didn't vlog in there. I was just sidetracked and obviously just trying to get all my stuff so I wasn't focused on vlogging. I got everything. Got some pretty flowers. I'll give you a little haul when I get back home. But yeah, I'm gonna head home and then I'll see you when I get there. Okay, I'm home and as promised, I'm gonna give you a Trader Joe's haul and also Marshall's haul because I ended up going to Marshall's right after um, and got a bunch of stuff for Rocco. But we're gonna go through my Trader Joe's bags now. First thing, some pretty really, really spring vibe flowers. They're literally drooping because I had them in the car while I was going to Marshall's, but I think they're so pretty. They're just little purple ones and little white ones. So cute. Okay, first bag. Everything ciabatta rolls, pasta, more pasta, brown eggs, vegan butter, blueberry scones, citrusy garlic seasoning, potato medley, lemons, a oat milk um, latte, two sumo oranges, nanners, baby spinach, Brussels sprouts, butternut squash, ravioli, sweet potato gnocchi, green tea mochi, turkey corn dogs, vegan caramelized onion dip, I'm so excited about this, applewood smoked ham, regular pasta gnocchi, two bags with a tropical fruit blend, and lastly I got some organic chicken and brown rice recipe sticks for puppies. Here is all of the stuff, I'm going to put it all away now and then I'm going to show you what I got from Marshalls. Are. Aren't they like perfect spring flowers? It looks like I literally went out and picked them myself. Rocco also likes them, but he tries to eat them. But yeah, they're really, really, really cute besides the little droopy ones, but that's okay. All right, now I'm gonna show you what I got for Rocco really quickly. I wanted to get him a crate mat because he just, he likes sleeping on the hard like mat on his crate more than his bed. I don't even know if he's gonna like this, but I just felt like I needed to get him a comfy little thing for his crate. So I did that. And then I got him this Nerf dog Frisbee because I wanna start playing Frisbee with him. Cause he loves playing fetch, but I wanna see if he'll like doing this. <laughs> And then I got one of those like carriers for the poop bags because I didn't have one. I got him a nail clipper because I usually just use my own nail clippers for his nails. But I think that'll be easier because it has the guard on it. So it's safer for them. Look it. You like this? 
No. Okay. And then I got this little treat container, which is so cute, but I'm excited because I'm gonna put all his treats in here instead of just like in the bags everywhere. So this is really cute. It's just like a matte black little container that says treats on it. And then I got a fabric resistance band because I just don't like the rubber ones. They just don't work. So this is a medium resistance one. And then lastly, I got a food container so I can start putting it in here instead of the food bags, so. Excuse me. And then yesterday, I actually checked my PO box for the first time in a while. Oh, hi. That's not for you. So I'm going to unbox everything on um, this vlog for you because I want to show you what people sent me. Okay, Rocco, you gotta go get your toys. Where's your toys? So this is from Nora. She sent me a little baggie and it says, Hi, I'm a subscriber and I love your videos. I just started a small business called Faith Paper Studio on Etsy. I make lettering cards with Bible verses on them. Hope you enjoy. So she sent me a few of the cards. How cute is this? So cute. They're just little lettering cards that she wrote herself, I'm sure. So that's so cute. Thank you so much. Next, this is from... Oh my gosh, it's from London. First of all, how cute is this little envelope that she decorated so cute it says lauren on the front this is from amberly thought i would send the letter before you become very famous thank you for doing what you do because you're amazing sending this from uk how cute thank you so much i that's just crazy to me that you guys are sending me things from a different country okay this is from i'm not sure this one also looks like it's international this is they live in sri lanka I don't know if I said that right. I'm so sorry. I am Haruki Fernando. I'm 13 years old and I live in Sri Lanka. Thank you so much. And look at the little happy faces. So cute. And then this last little package I already opened, but I haven't like looked through it yet. So this is from Abby. Um, she has a small business called Abby's Beads on Insta. So cute. This is her Instagram if you want to check this out. These pieces are so cute. She sent me a bunch of little cute ones, so I'm gonna unbox them for you and show you. We have these little daisy earrings, these little white lightning bolt earrings, and then these black and red ones. This one is in the bag. It just fell off the little thing, but so cute. And then I think these are necklaces, a little star, and then we have a little L. And then this one's just a simple little gold chain one. So, so precious. Thank you guys so much for sending me these things. I'm so in love with them, so I appreciate you guys so much. My P.O. box is always in my description box. If you want to ever send me anything, I'd love to open it in my next vlog. So if you do, just send me a DM and just tell me that you sent me something because since I moved, I live pretty far from my P.O. box. Um, so I don't check it as often. So if you just shoot me a DM and let me know that you sent something, then I'll go check it. But yeah. All right, you guys, it's honestly not morning anymore. So I think I'm going to end off this vlog here since this is just a morning vlog. I'm basically just going to get into a bunch of homework for the rest of the day and also editing. So it's not going to be interesting at all. So yeah, I have to do like a presentation for class tomorrow. I need to read some books and take notes on them. And I need to edit this video that I just filmed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!